get raised in this life Because they told us we was black when we really didn't realize And I don't wanna be no plug, that's all they talking about I don't wanna be no thug, that's all they talking about I don't wanna be no hitter, that's all they talking about Kinda heavy, right? And this is the thing, this is why we're out here, because we're actually reading you the Bible. Any question that you have, I'm gonna go to the Bible to teach it. I thought it was all I thought it was love. Thought you thought well you thought wrong, right? The Bible has to say this. This is what God says, right? Get, get this. Go ahead. This is the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter three, and from the top. To everything there is a season. Uh -huh. And to every purpose under the heaven. A time to be born and a time to die. So there's balance, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. A time to plant and a time to pluck up that which was is planted. Right. Yeah. A time to kill and a time to heal. Uh -huh. A time to break down and a time to build up. So just how you're saying God is love, God is love, but God also hates, right? You got that? Let me, let me so real excuse quick. me. Oh, so oh, let oh, me okay. ask you this, right? Uh -huh. So where where are the white people from? I huh. mean, where you just said the Caucasian mountains, right? Yeah, but... They did Job 30. Okay, so they're from the Caucasus Mountains. The Caucasus Mountains, see? They don't know one thing. So the Caucasus Mountains, what? right? Where did they come from before that? Before that? That's a great question. That's a great question, yeah. right? So, I'm going to show you. Get, get, get Genesis 25, 25. That's a brand new game. Job 30? No, because I put the SD card in. The last one. didn't have an SD Excuse me. Me because I feel really you're right, dumb right now. No, it's not, it's right. not even on. So, uh, start, we, we, start at five, right? And you're gonna read the eight. It's the book of Job, chapter 30, and verse five. Uh -huh. They were driven forth from among men. Uh -huh. They cried after them as after a thief uh -huh. to dwell in the clefts of the valleys. To dwell in the clefts of what? To dwell in the clefts. Of the valleys uh -huh. the in caves of the earth, in caves of the earth, the and in the rocks, mm -hmm. among the bushes and braids. Shut up right now! Under the nets, they were gathered together. They were children of fools. They were children of who? Children of fools, right? Yea, Wait, children of base men. Can you start over? Can you start over? They were. Can you start over? I think that's viler. Start over, please. Viler start than over. the earth. Viler. Start, start over, please. Come. Start, start again. Yeah. This is the book of Job, yeah. chapter 30 and verse 5. They were driven forth from among men. Uh -huh. They cried after them as after a thief uh -huh. to dwell in the clefts of the valley, in the caves of the earth, and in the rocks. This is where you get cavemen from. White people are the original cavemen. Right. That's right. I mean, that's all. Right? Keep going. Among the bushes they braved <laughs> under the net nettles, they were gathered together. Uh -huh. They were children of fools, yea, children of base men. The children of base men, that's like the most basic thing. Like how, you know how, for example, like when Hitler was talking about, oh, blonde hair, blue eyes, that's the ultimate race. That's actually a defective, that's something like defective in genes, right? A mutation. To have pale skin, that's not nothing good. Like how you said it yourself, the sun, the sun hates people with, with pale skin, right? It's going to burn you up, right? People with melanin, they're going to last longer in the sun, right? So for example, like how, that's why I asked you, do you think it's wrong for, if God created everything perfectly, right? The way it's supposed to be. If God created these people to not have melanin, for the sun to burn them, for Israel, those white people in Israel today to have the, one of the places on the earth that has the most cancer, skin cancer. Do you think God loves those people then? Well, I can play the stuff that the Oh, the old, oh, I can hold it. I had never read that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Show her that. What kind of card? This is the book of Genesis, chapter 36. Verse 8, thus dwelt Esau in Mount Seir. In Mount Seir? Esau is Edom. Right? So look at the look at the structures that Mount Seir had. What does that look like? That looks like all these white people buildings that they make here in America. Right? White House. White House. All the, all the, uh, literally every government building. The banks. The banks. That's what they look like. Those are those people. I mean, just how you said. Everybody comes from somewhere in the Bible, right? Do you know who you are in the Bible? Now that we know who the white man is? And God says that he hates I'm him? I'm totally confused. I don't, I don't know. What are you confused about? I guess about? I don't know anything. And that's what that's what, that's the perfect way to be. You'd rather just so that way you can what? Learn everything now. Get rid of everything that you had that you knew before and be born again literally. So am I supposed to go am I supposed to go around like hating white people now? Not necessarily, no. But here's the thing, you're like supposed to be But here's the thing, informed. you know who you're supposed to love? 
it, don't focus on the hate part, focus on who we're supposed to love then, right? Yeah. We're supposed to love each other. The so-called black, Hispanic, Native Americans, and God, right? Do you love God? Of course. How do you love God? How do you show God that you love him? That's what we should be focused on, right? Get second, verse seven. How do I show God that I love him? Get, get, get a first, first Psalm 5 and 3 first, and then we're going to get second one. This is crazy, guys. I'll praise you. I'll praise you. No, he has something else. Oh my first, first Psalm 5 and 3. Right? Go ahead. What do you do? This is the book of 1 John, chapter 5, verse 3. For this is the love of God, that we keep his commandments, and his commandments are not grievous. So you got to keep the commandments of God to show God you love him. Like, for example, if I say I love you, but I don't do anything to show you I love you, do I really love you? Because in the Hebrew, love is an action. You have to show somebody you love them. You have to show God you love them by doing the commandments, right? All right, go ahead with your precept. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 18, from the top. At this time came the disciples unto Jesus, saying, who is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven? And Jesus called a little child unto him and set him in the midst of them uh -huh. and said, Verily I say unto you, except ye be converted and uh -huh. become as little children, uh -huh. ye shall not enter into the kingdom of heaven. Right, so that's the thing, you have to be born be born again, right? And you have to have all those Can old... white people be born again? Listen, listen, this is for us. This is the thing. I know, but I'm, I'm confused because I, because I never knew, like, I don't, like, I've never believed but here, here's that. But here's God. my thing. Why are you so focused on white people instead of you? I mean, because because it's, it's you're telling me that God doesn't love something or God hates something. But I'm, I'm showing so you who that's God, why I'm, if I show you who God loves, would you be more interested in who God loves than, than who God hates? I know who God loves. Who I does mean, he love? There's everybody. If I just show you he hates one people. Right. Yeah. That's crazy. No, you actually get, get, um, here, keep going with yours. Come on, this is a verse four. So whosoever, what am I to think now? Whosoever, you didn't crack my mask wide open, right? You didn't crack my mask wide open. And really, everything that I grew up knowing or grew up believing is wrong. Yeah. So what am I supposed to do now? Like, so now, now you, get, you get rid of that. Just how it says. Now you're born again, right? Now you now you have this understanding what it actually says. Now you got to figure out. Get that in second uh, second as seven nine started at eleven. Check this, this out. This is exactly for you right here. Go ahead. This is the book of Second Ezra, chapter nine, verse eleven. Uh -huh. And they that have loathed my law, uh -huh. while they had yet liberty. Uh -huh. And when as yet place of repentance was open unto them. So he's saying the people who he didn't care about God's laws when they had time to repent. Like right now. Right? Go ahead. Understood not, but despised it. The people who he didn't care about God's laws when they had time to repent. Like right now. Right? Go ahead. Understood not, but despised it. What about these people? The same must know it after death by pain. So those people who ignore God's laws are going to die and grieve death, right? People. And therefore, be thou not curious how the ungodly shall be punished. So don't worry about how they're going to be punished, but what? And when, but inquire how the righteous shall be saved, who the world is and for whom the world is created. So don't worry about all those other people. Worry about how you get saved. That's what you need to be worried about. Right? So what do we do to get saved? Though? What are we supposed to do? Another thing that they had there, no, like how I said, we're supposed to show God we love them then, right? Yeah, go ahead. Check this out, check this out. This is 2nd Ezra 9, chapter 7. I mean, uh, chapter 9, verse 7. And everyone that shall be saved and shall be able to escape by his works. What are works? What are works we can do to show God we love them? Which are what? The commandments, right? Do these commandments, do this, and we're going to show God you love them. And by what? And by faith. Huh? Whereby ye have believed. So now it's the great anger. The church, whatever church you go to, only shows you. Just have faith. Have faith in Jesus. Believe in Jesus. But what about the worst part? Did, 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 did the church ever uh, did the church church ever teach you to not eat pork? Do you eat pork? You know God is gonna kill people who eat pork. That says the prophecy right there. And the law says don't eat it. 
but the love of God is doing the commandments. So if you're eating for doing what God told you not to do, are you of God then? And I thought when Peter had the dream of all the um, animals and the and the the on the sheet came was coming down from the heavens. I thought that was a um, that was a like a message to him. Okay, so, so here's the thing. When at what point did it turn to that we can eat whatever? That is? I thought that was a, at that point. Yeah, when, when, when all the animals... So, Peter told God three times, I'm not going to eat it. And that was fine. See, the thing is that that, that, that chapter that's at Acts 10, that has a bigger meaning. It's not talking about food. Right? Because if you read it from the beginning, he doesn't want to... Peter was the one that was sent to the circumcised people, the ones that are doing everything that God is telling them to do. And he didn't really care about the Gentiles, right? You know what I'm saying? The Israelites that were following after other commandments. He looked at them as less than. So here he's saying, actually, just get there, bro. Next 10. It's the book of Acts chapter 10 verse 11. And saw heaven open, and a certain vessel descending unto him, as it had been a great sheet, knit at the four quarters, and let down to the earth. Verse 12. Wherein were all manner of four-footed beasts of the earth, and wild beasts, and creeping things, and fowls of the air. And there came a voice to him, Rise, Peter, kill and eat. But Peter said, No. Uh, uh, slacker. But Peter said, Not so, Lord, for I have never eaten anything that is common or unclean. Verse 15, and the voice spake unto him again the second time, What God hath cleansed that all not thou common. This was done right, and the vessel was received up again unto heaven. But here's what we gotta understand. The most time is what he has planned, right? Even the food wise, Leviticus 11 tells you what food you can eat, right? But the yeah, but I said this is talking about food then, right? So get verse 20. I'm not, I'm not going to argue anymore, okay? But I love the fact that. Yeah, Acts 10 and 28, but in the blue letter. Let me show you something. You, you, you read that. It's the book of Acts, chapter 10, verse 28. This is the actual point of this whole vision. And he said unto them, Ye know how that it is an unlawful thing for a man that is a Jew to keep company or come unto one of another nation. So this That's is in the Old Testament. This is Acts. This is Acts 10. What about the New Testament? This, this, this is Acts. Came and made the New Testament. This is in Acts. This is after Jesus died. What is that? Go ahead. To keep, company, to keep company or come unto one of another nation. So this is a tradition that they have. You can't come unto one of another nation. Right? What is that talking it's like about? like a bird and a uh, 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 fish and a dove flying together, right? You can't. No, the, the, thing, the thing is that, like how he says, Peter only messed with certain Israelites. He didn't like the Israelites that fell off. That's what I'm right? saying. So check this out. Get, get the word for... Uh, yeah, that's one. I gotta go, guys. I'm going to show you what that verse is in the Greek there. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Read okay. 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 that. This is a word for another nation, right? Go ahead. All right, this is a strong G, uh, 246, and it means what? Apollos. Apollos. What are the root words on that? It's made up of two words, right? One is what? Uh, which what are the root words? Root word means another, another, or other. Uh -huh. and what is the other word? The other word means a tribe in the New Testament, all the persons descending from one of the twelve sons of the patriarch Jacob. So right there, Peter is being shown all of Israel is Israel. It doesn't matter if they're Gentiles that fell away or the Israelites that are doing what God told them to do. Now, God loves all of us. We have to accept 
and we have to reach out to them, which is why we're, we're out here, we're doing all the commandments, and we're reaching to the so-called Gentiles. That would be you, right? The ones that don't know anything, the ones that don't know anything about the truth, that don't know they're actually God's chosen people. Right. right, that the so called black Hispanic Native Americans, how we are the Israelites of the Bible. That's right, right? Black Hispanic and Native? Yes. Yeah. You ever heard that before? See, and this is this is what I would rather talk to you about. About God loving us and preferring us over everybody. Not focus about why God hates everybody. This gets people to talk about it. Right? But if I had a sign that said God loves just black people, I bet you nobody would come up here and talk to you. But you know how many people stick up for the white man? I mean only because I that's what I received in the Oh, man. So wait, can I ask you one more thing and then I have to? What religion are you? We're not everything. We're Israelites. That's what it is. This is our heritage. How can I do? How can I? Where can I go to do some research on you guys? On either those websites. Either these are our videos. Or you can just show up and ask us any time. We're here every Saturday. Every Saturday after after three. And more importantly, you you sit down and you read. And now look at it through the lens that this is your book. This is your tradition. Will this, will this guide me to where? I mean, it'll get you started. It'll get you started. You can look up some videos on the, any of these channels. Put up Sakari, I don't know, uh, who were black people? Who were Mexicans? Who were the indigenous? Does God love everybody? You know what I mean? Every, every, any, anything and everything you want to film. We've got literally thousands of videos you can look up. One more question. Are there really reptiles here? <laughs> reptiles? Do you mean reptilians? Yeah. No, we don't believe reptiles. You know? No. So that's all a lie. Yes. That's all a lie? Well, no. Even though the Bible says that 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 the Bible Right, the Lord thy God hath chosen holy, holy, separate. So when he says, when he says, I gotta go. I mean, I was almost out of these two verses. Right, go ahead, finish that. For thou art, art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. Above all people that are equal to all people. Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. So if you're above everybody, are you the same? Does God love everybody? If God places somebody over you? Right, read that. It's the book of Leviticus, chapter 20 and verse 26. You shall be holy unto me, for I the Lord am holy and have separated you from the people. That you should be much. So we're God's people, right? right? That's the well, how do you, how, how can you prove that? Know. How can you prove that we are God's people and not everyone? Do you have time? Yes. That's right. right. Okay, I'll pray. Okay. <laughs> Get that. Deuteronomy 28. I'll pray. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, and verse 1. And it shall come to pass, if thou shalt, if thou shalt hearken diligently, Unto the, of the words of the Lord thy God to observe and to do all his commandments which I command thee this day, that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations of the earth. Well, even if we do everything that God told us to do, I'm still not telling you. I'm going to get there. If God, if God promises the Israelites, I'll say that. If God promises the Israelites, if we do everything that he's speaking to the Israelites, just the Israelites, he never speaks to anybody else. So the whole book is Israelites. just the Israelites. Just and who is the Israelites? We're gonna get there, and I'm gonna have you. Right. So now, go to 15. Deuteronomy 28, 15. But it shall come to pass if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. But if you don't do them, now you have curses. Now you're going to go into the curses. Right? I can't. I can't. Hold on, hold on. I'm going to do it. Hold Deuteronomy 28 46. And they shall be upon thee for a sign and for a wonder and upon thy seed forever. So these Christians are going to follow the Israelite seed forever so that they know who they are, right? That's right. Verse 47. You guys are Israelites? 
Sebenarnya, I just just answer that question for Yes, you're Am I? Just get the main point. This 68. You tell me who this happened to. Go ahead. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. The word Egypt in Hebrew means rain. It means pretty much bondage, slavery. When we were in Egypt, that's what we were under. Slavery. Wait, what's bondage for me? Egypt. Mitzrayim in the Hebrew, right? Go ahead, get that. It's the book of Exodus, chapter 20, and verse 2. I am the Lord thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt. Out of what? Out of the house of bondage. So in bondage, right? Read that again. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. So you're going to go into bondage again with ships, right? By the way whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. As we were supposed to see original Egypt, but this is a new Egypt, a new bondage that we're going to get to in ships. And what? And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies for bond men and bond women, and no man shall buy you. Who was sold on slave ships, sent somewhere else, and sold as slaves? Did that happen to white people? Did that happen to Chinese people? Arab people? Who did that happen to? Black people. You know what also happened to Latinos? We were also put on slave ships and sent to other places in the world. Did you know that? The, one of the. Uh, uh, give, give me the Mayan slave ships. No, I gotta go. Right, so that's the thing. So hey, hold on, hold on, hold on. You guys are here, right? I'm sorry. So that was supposed to happen to the Israelites. I gotta study. Okay, so that was supposed to happen to the Israelites. Who were the Israelites? Then? That's right. 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 Right.